Hello, and welcome to a new Jitsi demo. Today I'd like to show you how to integrate the Elgato Stream Deck with Jitsi Meetings to have custom in-meeting controls. Let's jump right in. Here on the right, I have a small website uh, I built using our external iframe API that will connect to Jazz, and it will also connect to the Stream Deck, and it it will provide the meeting with custom meeting controls. On the left, I've got the source code for it, and we're going to take a little look at how things work here. So first, uh, let's connect our stream deck. Once we connect it, show is all black. Uh, it's great. Now, let's quickly copy our parameters to join a meeting. So I'm going to use some I'm going to generate the JWT here for the purposes of this demo. And after we put it and we join, we boom, our stream deck will suddenly have some extra controls in it. As you can see, we've got mute controls uh, for audio and for video. We've got chat, raised hand, tile view, and hang up. So let's experiment with them. We are in a meeting here. And we're going to look at the state of the meeting. And we're going to see if it matches the state in our stream deck. We decide to unmute. We can do it right from the bottom, from the bottom here, in the, from the button in the stream deck. And it syncs the state. We can mute video as well, of course. Opening the chat is an option. I'm not sure if the video captures it well, but the, this button looks sunken. It's like a light gray. Uh, we can, of course, raise our hand as well. Uh, I find this this, is, this could be a really useful feature because it's so simple to attain with a single button press. Change from tile view to stage view. Uh, let's enable video again. Hello. And a simple hang up button, which brings us back to the start. Now let's look at the code. This is uh, only possible thanks to the wonderful Elgato Stream Deck web hit library. It really makes working with a stream deck very, very easy. And what I did here in about 300 lines of code is to take our API and marry it to, to that one. So uh, this code has like three parts. One would be our API usage. So we've got some button and uh, when you click the join button, you're going to connect our API and listen to a bunch of events like audio mute state changing, the video mute state changing, uh, chat, raised hand, tell you we're keeping flags. We're keeping some state here for each of those uh, um, yeah, states of the app. And then we've got a an update the stream deck function that what it will do is it will cycle through each of the buttons that we have configured and call a sync state function in it. Each button is defined as three functions, a press handler, a state syncing function, and an icon loading function. Each of the icons in that, that you could see in the buttons is a web canvas. Um, I find that it's really cool. So let's see how, for example, we're handling the audio mute uh, state. So when the button is pressed, this would be our press handler. We're going to execute the toggle audio command. This will just flip the current state and change it to whatever the opposite is. We don't need to keep any state for that. However, we do want to keep some in order to show the right icon. So. Um, how we sync the mute states is we're going to fill the canvas uh, if we're muted with one canvas and if we're not muted with another canvas. Now, what are those canvases? Well, here is where load audio icons comes, comes in uh, uh, handy. So the first canvas, we create just a canvas element and then we load an icon with a, a microphone in it and we set the text mute. And we put this in the in the canvas number one. In the canvas number two, we put the icon with a slash, and we put the text unmute. And you can quickly see that what happens here is that, in a nutshell, we're going to show one icon or the other 
uh, one canvas or the other based on the state that we have. And the same applies to video mute, chat, um, raised hand, um, tile view. Hang up doesn't have multiple states because the button is a single state. And that's about it. I created a little helper function for loading the icon and painting it on a canvas. For simplicity's sake, all of the icons here are uh, Base64 encoded SVGs. And then all we're doing is creating a new image, putting it on a canvas, uh, leaving some space around so we can then draw the text and we're using the canvas drawing functions to put it in there. And the result is uh, what you saw. We have custom in-meeting controls. We could put anything that our API is capable of, plus whatever else you have, thanks to this library, thanks to the APIs that just provides us. Check it out. And yeah, the Stream Deck, really cool device. If you don't have one, maybe you want to pick one up. Thanks for watching.